how to create sketch rendering out of ARCHICAD but with the ability to add colors in Photoshop which means that we need the sketch render but we're also going to need to have a view which helps us to identify areas in Photoshop. So you might have a 3D view that looks similar to this. This is using the OpenGL engine in ARCHICAD. When we go to, uh, make sure I'm in the right application, when we go to view, 3D view options, 3D window settings, we can change from our OpenGL, which is the one that looks most realistic of the 3D engines to our vectorial engine. Now I wouldn't recommend that you use the vectorial engine for most things because it's not very nice and it doesn't work very well for uh, movement using the explore or the orbit tool but it works very well for the application or the purpose of what we're doing right now. Now I'm going to just resize this screen slightly 900 by 600, untick that just so we've got a consistent size window because when we go into Photoshop it's very important that we use a consistent size so that we don't have scaling issues particularly when we're working with a combination of uh, JPEG image or TIFF images and PDFs. Now we're not doing that today but the rule still applies. Now we want to make the background <coughs> dumber. We want to make the image look nastier and you'll see why soon. So we're going to turn off sun shadows, turn off transparency, turn off vectorial hatching and we want it to be very very simple and we could even turn off contours. Let's have a look at what we get. It's a very simple image. What do we see? Only block colors and that's absolutely the intention because in Photoshop we can use our magic wand to pick up those block colors and then we can use that to define areas. So I'm going to save this file, save as. We want to save it as a, a TIFF or a JPEG image. I'd always recommend using a TIFF. The JPEG option in ARCHICAD tends to dumb it down and I'm going to use uh, one that I've already pre-prepared but I'm going to resave it called block color. I'm just defining these. This is um, one that I've started before but everything I'm going to do today is new so you'll see and be able to follow along with what I'm doing. Great, so now we've got the the dumb image that's going to help us to define the block areas. Now we need to do a render. So to do that render we're going to go into document, creative imaging, photo render settings and in our photo render settings we're going to choose the engine which is the sketch engine. Now we can't create a preview with the sketch engine. In terms of size I want to make sure I'm using the same size screen as I have for my 3D window. Now that's unfortunately nowhere near big enough. It's going to look a bit silly if I do it like that. So I need to increase the size of that. Now generally speaking I want to create uh, in terms of pixels, and I could change this to either centimeters, millimeters, or inches, I want to create uh, an image that's around about three to 4,000 wide. So I'm just going to go 900 times 4, and I'm going to increase this to 3,600. There is, of course, other ways to do this. And that's the size render that I'm going to create. So it's the same proportion but more pixels than my 3D image. Now in the settings there is a lot of things that we could do here to make this work very well. Uh, we're not going to do too much at the moment. I'm just going to click through these just so you can see what I've currently got set up. I'm going to have to shut some of these down as I go through so you can see. I need to make this a bit thicker and a bit darker. Okay, and once I've finished that I'm just going to save a, another copy of a view just so I don't lose it if I need to make, go back and make changes. So I'm going to call this side elevation sketch. And now we're ready to render creative imaging, photo render projection, and this is going to create our 
sketch model. Now I didn't check to see what the background is, hopefully I don't have a background, otherwise I'm going to have to remove that and replace it just with white. Now the good thing about the sketch render engine is it's quite quick compared to the Cine render engine or the, the previous version, the Lightworks render engine. Now I have added other things such as shadows and vectorial hatching, meaning um, brick patterns or timber grain or things like that. So it will take a little bit longer because of those additional settings. Now we don't need to use those of course, we could turn those off. And if this takes much longer, that's exactly what I'll be doing. Alright, there we go. That'll do. Obviously I had some complicated hatches and so that was complicating my render. Just save this, file save as. Now of course the intention of what we're doing here is that this looks roughly like what we'd be creating if we were rendering by hand. So it's to imitate a, a hand rendered drawing. Now I want to save this also as a TIFF. And into Photoshop, I've already created some background layers or some layers for our pens. Uh, now I might even just close that down and reopen it just so we get the scale right. So I'm going to first open my sketch file. Open with Photoshop because that's going to be the larger of the two images. Then I'm going to drag and drop the, the color block. And although it's a different size, it is or should be the same proportion. So I'm going to stretch it to the extent. And then I'm just going to reduce the opacity just to make sure that it is. And we see that, yes, the lines are lining up or the edges are lining up. So that's great. So now this is not what we're trying to create, but this is just going to be helpful for using for a template. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how to add the color in Photoshop, like using Pantone markers.